When my wife and I moved to the valley, we wanted to make sure that we were prepared in case of an emergency, especially a hurricane. So that's why we put together a 72-hour kit. Now, there's many different ways that you can do this. You could even buy one online already put together. But we chose to build one ourselves to cater to our specific needs. And that way, it can be a little bit cheaper as well. You can go to the dollar store or go to the grocery store to buy the different items that you're going to want. And it's going to be different for everybody, depending on how many children you have or if you have any family pets. But everyone is going to first want some water. According to FEMA, every person needs about a gallon of water per day. Second, you're going to want to have food to last you for three days. And without modern conveniences, perhaps you're not going to have electricity. You're going to want to pack food that doesn't need to be cooked, like tuna. Tuna is a great way to get protein without needing electricity to cook it. It's already pre-cooked. Then you have your dry fruit. That's a great way to build up uh, some sugars. Uh, Yoohoo juice, great way to build up calcium, as well as apple juice or other fruit juices, and perhaps other fruit cups, and then some crackers or granola bars. In case someone gets hurt, you're going to want to make sure that you have everything you need for a first aid kit. You can buy bandages at the dollar store, roll gauze, as well as Neosporin. Other things you might want are a flashlight. Make sure it works. Make sure you have extra batteries. You could even grab some glow sticks that don't need batteries. Other things, toiletries. You're going to want to make sure that you have your toothpaste and your soap and uh, perhaps a towel. Extra clothing is going to be a good idea to have because you don't know where you're going to have to go. You may have to be on foot, so make sure you grab some good tennis shoes that are going to give you some good support. As well as you're going to want to make sure you have a radio that's battery powered because the television and the internet, they may not be up and working. And your cell phone, that might not work either. So if you have a radio powered by a battery, that's going to help you get the message you need in case of an emergency. Now all of these items can be put into a backpack much like this one, but remember you're going to want to check it every six months or every year to ensure none of the food has expired. Another good idea, write down all the things that you put in the pack so you know exactly what you're taking with you. We also went ahead and made a list, if we only have five minutes to evacuate, important items that we may want to take, such as those important documents or those insurance policies that you may have or prescription eyewear. Another list, if you have 30 minutes, maybe you're going to want to take some family photos or other good keepsakes that you're not going to want to lose. Helping you prepare for a disaster, I'm Brett Crandall for Action 4 News.